I mean, they need to check themselves sometimes. But just remember, pride comes before the fall. Just here, pride comes before the fall. Welcome back to Bitter Rivals with Ted and Tom. Tom, I want to take a brief moment here to uh, shout out to my high school, Brother Ice High School in Birmingham, Michigan, going for their sixth, sixth time state title. We, of course, 1974, the very first state champion at Brother Rice. But uh, Al Fracasa, winningest coach in Michigan high school history. Good luck, coach. Now, Tom, I want to talk about a comparison. I think you can really get your arms around this subject. Um, you have admittedly stated that you have a real hard time getting your hate up for Tom Izzo. Oh, absolutely. Same thing with Kirk Cousins. I'm glad he's gone because I want to start hating the Knicks quarterback. He's hard to hate. Tom Izzo is hard to hate because he's so classy. He's a classy coach from winning and losing. He doesn't you know, dog and mock the opponent like Mark D'Antonio does. He's got a lot of class, which Mark D'Antonio has no class. So I, well, it's hard for me to, to, to uh, not like Tom Izzo. Let, let me say on the flip side, admittedly, I have a very hard time getting up a nasty for Brady Hoke. Brady Hoke is a very down-to-earth kind of guy, um, very un-Michigan-like in that regard. Uh, I had no problems getting uh, all lathered up over Lloyd Carr. He was a great coach to hate because he was so arrogant. This was a guy that used to be driven from the Schembechler Hall with a driver over to Chrysler Arena for his weekly press conference. I mean, that's about... Time is money. It's, that is about a five-minute walk at most. It's not a conducive walk. You've got to go over the, and the other uh, thing railroad that, tracks, and it's hard. It's not a good walk. The other thing that really bothers me about the pretentiousness of the University of Michigan, and I think it bothers Brady Hoke, uh, you know, he had, he had as much as admitted it at his, uh, his weekly show on uh, Fox Sports Detroit, was this police escort. He's got two guys in Michigan Stadium, two police uh, escorts, in the big house. What's the problem? That's Who's been it? going on for 30 years. Bo get, had, Bo had police escorts. Is he going to get you know, nailed with, with marshmallows? I mean, that is so pretentious. That's, a, that's almost, but not quite as pretentious as those motorcycle escorts and revving up the siren cool. when, the, when the Michigan bus pulls out and they of got the, the Michigan helmets on too that's cool for, for their it's just motorcycle helmets. it's just two more reasons it. to hate the University of Michigan and their pretentiousness well, every, and that's why it's so fun to knock you off that back. well you know what happened that that goes back into the 70s when Bo when when the students could run on the field before you had the okay. before you sunk okay the field. now they now they built it up now you can't so get rid of them any big They're time useless. program you go to Essie, you go to Alabama Auburn no. everybody has escorts that Michigan has to State do doesn't have because they're not a big time that program. has to do with the SEC and the sickos that are down there and the fan base in the SEC I like it the people that are poisoning trees yeah I'd like a police es escort too just to sit in the in stands. their own stadium they have to worry about that to use I just your think theory? it's ridiculous I don't uh, uh, Probably Ohio care? State is the other one that does that. I, I don't see any escort around D'Antonio. I don't see any <laughs> escort around Who Ferentz. wants to hang around D'Antonio anyway? I just think it's in, incredibly pretentious, and it's no, just whatever. one more reason to hate Michigan. You, you so easily find reasons to hate Mi Michigan. They That's where your so obsession easily. comes from. They come so easily. Wait, that's why in the Big Ten basketball tournament, they had to stop playing the fight songs <laughs> because they play Northwestern. There'd be a nice little, you know. That's called respect. They'd, they'd play Michigan State. There'd be a little respectful clap and sing along. They'd play Michigan, and you got booed out of the stadium. You, when you boo somebody, you're showing, you're paying homage to them. You're respecting That's them. That's not true. You're if you're booing irrelevant, them, you don't, you're, you're indifferent. No, when you boo totally them, indifferent. When you're boo with, along with your fellow uh, people from the Big Ten, it means we mutually hate you. Well, whatever. Go ahead and hate. Bitter Rivals, Ted and Tom, <laughs> back next for our final segment.